it is 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday the 18th, and I noticed some people talking about some of the State of Sanderson stuff, so I wanted to check it out myself and record a quick video about it. This will actually be a little bit shorter this time around since I have read it now, since I ruined it the first time. But basically, I don't usually keep up with this blog site at all, uh, but I decided to check it out because it's pretty cool that he kind of recaps the year, everything he's worked on, everything he's working on, all the million different projects that he's currently a part of. And unlike some other authors who can't seem to write one novel in a decade, this man writes many novels in a year. <laughs> and Stormlight Books in about 18 months. So basically he has this gigantic blog post that would probably be a novella in itself. So he has a table of contents going over the things that he's talking about. So quick introduction to him, talks a little bit about COVID, things like that. And then this immediately caught my eye, Way of Kings Prime. Now the Way of Kings Prime, if you haven't seen this yet, because Brandon Sanderson is a madman and here's his little tracker cool like, i didn't know what songs of the dead was that's obviously done don is done skyward 3 is being worked on the way of kings prime was originally planned as a stretch goal for kickstarter and now he's giving it away for free now this was written in 2002 this is an alternate non-canon version of the way of kings now i was thinking sure this is gonna be a couple chapters cool he scrapped it this pdf is 815 pages 815 he has basically an entire version of the way of kings for you to read for free in whatever format you want so you can throw this on your kindle you can throw it on your kobo whatever you read on pdf if you're a crazy person this is an entire non-canon version of the way of kings now keep in mind that means this doesn't count but i'm sure a lot of rabid and uh insane Brandon Sanderson fans will read this and love it. Now, the main thing that would be interesting about this to me is what didn't make the cut. What drastic changes did he make between 2002 and then 2009 to 2010 when he completely scrapped it and rewrote it? Like That is insane to me. So not only has he written four Stormlight novels, he's essentially written five. So that's pretty cool. And he talks about later on in this blog post that he is actually going to print a physical copy of it. I have, I don't know, I, I'll have to check again. I don't know when that is, but that and Don Chart is still going to get a physical release. So that's going to be kind of a collector's item. That'll be really cool to have the Way of Kings Prime, like this old 18 year old version of the Way of Kings that never got published. Uh, First off, he talks about Mainframe, which is his audiobook company that he started. I don't know if that's supposed to rival Audible or what it really is. I know they they did this for the original, which some people talked about on YouTube. Uh, I have not listened to it. I don't know if it's going to get written down. I think it is like an audio exclusive thing, but there's plenty of channels that have covered that. I probably won't. I'm not that interested in it. Don't even know what it is. The Reckoners and Reckoners novel. The Reckoner's novellas are a continuation of a series of finished the Legion series as a Hollywood style, style adaptation using screenwriters instead of novelists. Skyward tie-ins are unique. So, yeah. If you've listened to the original, let me know if it's worth checking out. I don't really know anything about it, to be honest. I know some people covered it, Daniel Murphy, Jay, but don't really know too much about it. Uh, Tor just recently released a box set of Stormlight 1 through 3. This is, I believe, just the mass market paperbacks. Uh, I would never read these books in mass market. They are too damn big. He goes through his year a little bit about his process, how he just, in his spare time, writes more books because that's just what this man does. So he had a marathon writing session to finish the first draft of Rhythm of War. Uh, basically saying he balances his time between Stormlight books and other projects, which are essentially other books. 18 months on each in rotation. It's been working well, so I imagine continuing it for at least one more cycle. That means I'll start Stormlight 5 on January 1st, 2022, so a year from now, and for a fall 2023 release. So that's not that far away. 2023 to have Stormlight 5. 
uh, Songs of the Dead revision. He was talking about doing Dawn Shard, Reckoner's novellas. Skyward 3 is his main focus. He's 70% of the way done. It says it on his uh, little progress bar right up here. 70%. So that is his main focus, and that will be coming out, I believe, he says, next year. Talks about seeing Tenet with his family. Uh, the most nolan Christopher Nolan film that was ever nolan upon the world. Don Shard Revision, Skyward 3... Uh, so let's go to the Leatherbound Kickstarter, which I unfortunately missed. Probably will regret that because the these Leatherbounds are incredible. I mean, all the Leatherbounds that he does are fantastic. This one, I didn't really want to shell out the 250 for it, but I probably should have because they are incredible. Let's see, they decided not to do a new Leatherbound next year. We're moving to Wax and Wayne. We're moving the Wax and Wayne Leatherbound release, which will include the first two Wax and Wayne books sold together to 2022. So, Alloy of Law and Shadows of Self will be one leather-bound book, which makes sense because Alloy of Law is pretty short. Selling them together for around 150 We won't do Kickstarter because they will reserve those for Stormlight books. So, there you go. The rest of Stormlight, you're going to get leather-bound, expensive-as-hell releases, incredible collector's items to hold on to. This, I... Of all of the Leatherbounds, Elantris and Era 2, I don't think I would collect. Let's see. There you go. Way of Kings, Leatherbound, back in print so people can have it as a 2021 holiday present. I'll probably pick it up then. That's pretty awesome, guys. Uh, yeah, so here you go. Physical editions with Dawn Chart and Kings of, Kings of Prime. <laughs> Way of Kings Prime. This just sounds like it's a like a Amazon show. <laughs> Way of Kings Prime. Um... That's really cool, though. So, a physical copy of a version of The Way of Kings that was never published. Super cool. That's really interesting. Uh, he just talks about some of the other items. The Bridge Ford poster, the Radiant Coins, patches, art prints, pins, all that kind of stuff. I mean, they look cool. Uh, I'm not a big pin guy, but if you're a pin person, those look pretty sweet. Uh, Wit and Witless Coins. Okay, so there's all that Kickstarter stuff. Updates on his primary project. So, again... This was a Stormlight year. We got Rhythm of War. We got Dawn Shard and a non-canon alternate version of The Way of Kings. That's kind of insane. So he's just talking about how, how well it's doing. It did 40% better sales than previous volume. So the final book of the first sequence in 2022 for a 2023 release. There that date is again. So 2023 fall, we will get Stormlight 5. Then... Skyward, again, I haven't read any Skyward. I don't know if his YA stuff is any good. Let me know in the comments down below if you do enjoy his Skyward series. Maybe I'll check it out at some point. I'm not super interested, but if it's good, maybe I'll look at it. Uh, Mistborn. So Mistborn Era 1 was my favorite thing of his, I think, that I've still read. It, it rivals Stormlight for me just because of my personal experience and love for it and how exciting I, it was to read. Wax and Wayne, I don't care about that much. Era 2 is not really my thing. I will read book four when it comes out, but I'm not like itching to get it. Uh, let's see what he says. So once era two is closed out, his eyes will turn to era three. Now this is when this gets kind of crazy. So he's going to write all three books in era three in a row, like he did with era one, maybe with a novella in between from another world to keep me fresh. So, wow. So likely from 2023 to 2025. So as soon as Stormlight 5 drops, He's going to be writing a novella of some kind and the entirety of Mistborn Era 3. That's kind of nuts. And then 2025 start Stormlight 6. So based on his kind of 18-month cycle, that means 2027, maybe early 2028, we'll get Stormlight 6. And that'll roll into the next five-part series of that. So I'm guessing around 2040, Stormlight will be done. Jesus, that's a long way away. Alcatraz, book six. I don't. What is Alcatraz? Do you guys know? Let me know. Comments down below. Have you read Alcatraz? I have no idea what this is, but he's working on Alcatraz, book six, the dark one, which was his graphic novel. I haven't read that yet either. I I've basically stuck to his adult fantasy stuff. I haven't read his YA stuff. I haven't read his graphic novels. I didn't read White Sand. Some of the novellas in the Arcanum Unbounded I haven't read yet. Um, the original I haven't looked into. The Rhythmatist two in between. Mistborn Era 3 books when he needs a break. So again, guys, 
Brandon Sanderson needs a break from writing. He's just going to write another book. Why not? The Dead. This is a urban fantasy that he's working on that's in final revisions of a heavy metal singer necromancer. That's interesting. Could be cool. Uh, minor Project White Sand. He is... What? The other graphic novels are finished, so what is this then? Small Fixes, Omnibus version of it, adding a 30-page prologue. Maybe I'll check it out when this comes out. An Omnibus version of White Sand might be cooler than any other way to read it right now. The Reckoners in Legion via Mainframe. Okay, so he's got Mainframe stuff in the works. Soul Burner, what the hell is this? He can't say anything. Moving on. The Apocalypse Guard. Still planning to do a revision after Skyward 4, so that won't be for a couple years whatever that is other small projects all right other small projects uh la, 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 la. things i want to do include adamant untitled Therenati, Therenity novel six of dust sequel untitled emperor soul sequel why does this keep moving around on me uh secret standalone cosmere book the plot thickens and kingmaker magic kites cosmere ya don't care about that okay so then he steps into film tv adaptations again uh i hope for me personally that all this stuff is animated simply because unless this gets an mcu style funding and company behind it i do not want to see a budget stormlight or mistborn Mistborn, I think, would even work as a series, like a limited series, some kind of animated. If you want to do live action, that's cool. Please don't skip on the budget. If the, if any of these have not, like, hundreds of millions of dollars poured into it, they're going to suck. They just are. It's going to look bad. The CGI would look terrible. Legion, Skyward, basically just everything that he writes has been bought by some kind of company or, you know, they're looking for some of these. You're going to see a lot of Sanderson adaptations coming up, especially if like the, sh the Wheel of Time show and The Witcher does well and all these other fantasy shows do well. You're going to see everything Sanderson writes adapted one way or another. Uh, he's going to do a picture book based on the girl who looked up from Oathbringer. That's kind of cute. I don't care, though. The Dog and the Dragon. Also don't care about that. Board games and crafty updates. So, I mean, basically, when this guy is not writing a book, he is just doing something else, probably writing a book but also board games. Translation updates, so this is kind of cool. I mean, there's how many different publication companies and translations are in existence of these books. That's super cool. Stormlight Years are always a challenge, obviously, because they're the biggest books that he writes. Uh, it seems impossible to get to Wax and Wayne for out next year, of course. So 2022, probably. Um, he says right here, yeah. So fall of 2021, Skyward 3. That's 70% done, so that'll be out end of next year. Cool. Alcatraz 6. The following spring again i don't know what alcatraz is fall of 2022 wax and wayne 4 that'll wrap up era 2 spring slum slummer wow spring slash summer slummer <laughs> 2023 skyward 4 i assume that's gonna wrap that up i don't know if that's gonna continue past four books and then fall of 2023 the big one that we're all looking forward to stormlight 5 and then we're going to get a break from Stormlight for a couple of years, I believe, before he goes to Stormlight 6. So that's kind of cool. A lot of stuff to look forward to. You're not going to get any uh, Cosmere until about fall of 2022. So you got a couple of years to keep up to date with the Cosmere before you get more information. Because I'm sure Wax and Wayne 4 is going to have all kinds of Cosmere implications. That's my guess. So that wraps up his blog here. It was just a lot of cool info, tons of books to talk about. This is probably going to be like the biggest gap of non-Cosmere stuff for a while. But then we're going to get Stormlight 5, Wax and Wayne 4, all of Era 3, Stormlight 6. I mean, the, the next six, seven years is going to be absolutely insane uh, for Sanderson novels and fans. So there you go, guys. That is the state of the Sanderson 2020. Just wanted to share some quick thoughts on that because I did think it was pretty cool that he is probably one of the most transparent authors and that he constantly talks to them. I mean, blog posts like this, uh, live signing sessions and Q&As on his YouTube channel, he's always interacting with the community and letting everybody know about his works, and that's super awesome and admirable. And we need more authors to do that. That's incredible that he engages to this level while being as busy as he is. I I don't know how he has time for a family. Uh, 
but I think some other authors could take notes from this who can't even scrape together a single book in a decade. You know who you are. Uh, Sanderson should be looked up to and take an ounce of his effort and try hard when it comes to this stuff, and maybe you could write some more books, George. So that's going to wrap it up, though. Uh, like and subscribe as always do hit up patreon if you want to support the channel financially that is of course always optional but always greatly appreciated do join a discord or hop down in the comments down below let me know your thoughts on uh the state of sanderson 2020 what your most anticipated sanderson novel is probably for most of you it's gonna be stormlight 5 but maybe it's era 2 maybe it's era 3 who knows let me know in the comments down below and until next time guys keep reading